All right, guys, welcome back. We're diving back into Michigan beer from one of my favorites, Shorts Brewing Company. And guys, this beer has some great history to it. It is the Hop Stash, which, of course, if you know Joe Short, this is the man on the can, and he's got that stash right there. So again, Hop Stash, pretty epic old IPA from Shorts. I believe they started producing this or brewing this in 09 or 2010, rather. So batch one and batch two were around those times. I fell in love with this beer probably around like 2017, I wanna say. That was like the first time I tried it. It was either 16 or 17. And then I didn't see it that consistently. And then it was just every once in a while kind of thing. So this year, Shorts Brewing Company, they've released the Hop Stash again. So it's an American IPA, or a pale ale, I'm sorry, with grapefruit zest. And you have to look it up because it does not say on Shorts, uh, any of their packaging, it's 6.75%. So I really like that range. Not quite to the 7%, but it's it's a little bit under. Um, and again, very historical beer. I think this is brewed with Citra, Amarillo, and Simcoe. So I think at the time, Citra was a really big deal. And this beer had it in the recipe. So I think that made this beer quite popular. But I have always remembered enjoying this beer. So it's been quite some time. I really don't remember the last time I've had this. Maybe it's been two years or so at least. So maybe they haven't even, they didn't even brew this during COVID. I don't know. But it's back. I had to try it. And again, it's Shorts Brewing Company right down the road basically from where I live. Not not too close. Or not too far really. But um, 3 3 23 Fresh beer, yes. Today's the 18th of March. Shorts glassware, proper tiku glass. Let's dive into the hopstash. So again, guys, I really remember enjoying this beer over the years, but it's been quite some time since I've had it, but it's it's kind of those one-off releases Shorts have been doing. You can probably get this around $13.99 for a six pack. So uh, look at that, man. Just slightly hazy, but really some, some nice clarity to this beer as well. And in a game full of so many hazies, we have this nice West Coast looking old school style beer, almost like your Three Floyds or Stone looking beer in here. Um, just real nice pillowy white head sitting on top, a little bit sticky. Uh, moderate carbonation stream at the top, but nothing too fancy, just slightly syrupy as I poured it. Again, not even to that 7% range, but look, man, I mean, it just, it's its beauty. It's, it's West Coast beer in a glass. That's what it reminds me of, slash American, mid-American IPA. Um, let's go to an aroma. Wow, a little bit more like biscuity malt than I remember actually. So it's been quite some time and I actually thought I reviewed this but I just searched real quick on the channel. I don't know if I ever reviewed it on the channel. I thought I did, but I couldn't find it right before I started doing this. I wanted to see if I had reviewed it before. I don't think I did. I get like earthy citrus. I mean like, yes, grapefruit's in there because I know what's in there, but I'm not sure that I would just lunge right into saying it's grapefruit. It's just, it's like orangey, it's kind of pithy, earthy, soily, uh, slightly almost dank quality with citrus. But then there's this little like honey, like amber maltiness underneath all of the citrus. And again, that earthy soil kind of um, uh, quality kind of punches your nostrils a little bit. But it's not as it's not as aromatic as some of the other IPAs I've had as of late. This is again kind of an older school beer. I don't know if they've changed or refined the recipe. I hope not. That's what makes it so cool and nostalgic. Hopefully it's old school. Hopefully it's still that 09 slash 10 recipe. Let's go one more aroma. A little bit of honey pine. Yeah, just it's it's it smells more malty than citrusy. I mean, it's just it's very muddled down. It's not too like double dry hopped or anything. So I don't think you're gonna get that bursting, you know, palate cleansing aroma cleanser. I don't know. So let's just dive in, guys. It's Hop Stash, Shorts Brewing Company. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hoppy. Slightly caramel malty. I mean, it's it's certainly maltier through the middle. This is old school, man. This reminds me of the old school. It finishes so dry. And it has that, that slight huma, hoppy bittering on the back end. Just that honey slash slightly resinous, slightly dank finish to it. But it's so hoppy on the back end. And, it's, and it finishes bone dry, which I love because I love West Coast beers. I do like hybrids, I do like all those things, but I have that at my disposal at any moment. So this is like a dive into the old school, if you will. I mean, the 09s, the 10s, the 11s, the 12s. Reminds me of the older school beer. It's 
It's got that maltier complex to it through the middle. It's got that honey kind of citrus combination, almost like a, um, a hop slam, if you will, for Michiganders. It, it just reminds me of old school hop slam, Huma, uh, uh, two hearted, but different kind of beer, okay? It's a different kind of beer, it's its own right. But that Citra, not as hyped up or, or inserted and injected into this beer like New School Citra, it's not just a Citra bomb. We've got these other balancing agents, again, the Amarillo, the Simcoe, um, bring in more refined citrus, a little bit of that earthy soil dankness, a little bit of that, that piney dryness on the back end because that's what Shorts does so well is they balance beers with dryness and hoppiness. Um, diving back in. Yeah. The grapefruit is not as apparent in this beer and I wasn't getting it as much in the aroma either. I wanna say this is like a, a navel orange clementine, um, pithy skin kind of thing. This isn't quite juicy grapefruit or even just the, the, the rindy grapefruit. I lean more towards navel orange and halo clementines. I, I, I don't know that the grapefruit is the thing that jumps out the most, maybe back in the day before all the IPA explosions happened. Maybe the the grapefruit was more apparent in this beer because your palate hadn't seen that before. Um, the fact that I've seen so much grapefruit, literally just grapefruit IPAs. I, I, don't, I don't see this being just grapefruit when someone gives a descriptor of it. Certainly there, but it's got that earthy, kind of earthy, woody, soily uh, maltiness through the middle that really hangs on. And it does have it on the back end. I mean, you get like, I'd say grapefruit skin, navel orange skin, lemon peel, lemon zest skin on the back end, coupled with that slightly floral bitterness. And it's bone dry, man. It is just bone dry. Like I say on a lot of their uh, beers, Shorts is doing this all the time. The resinous pine, the slight honey caramel sweetness through the middle, um, all put together to make a hell of an old school IPA, um, reminding me really of that West Coast old style. Um, it's a great beer. It's a really, really great beer. Um, but I don't know that it's it's the, you know, I mean, they put it on there with grapefruit zest. I, I mean, I, I could make the argument that it's navel orange zest. I don't know that I would hover around the grapefruit quality in this um, as much as, as the label would allude to. Um, so final thoughts. And guys, I'm kind of absorbing this. I'm letting it settle in a little bit, trying to see if I get something different, but um, kind of taking this one in. This is kind of a cool beer for me. Um, thought I reviewed it again on the channel, but this, I guess, might be the official first review of it, but I've had it several times. I feel that I have to go searching for the grapefruit more than I'd like. I will say, I, I, grapefruit and navel orange are even on this. I, I, I dug it and I found it. There's a little bit of that dank, herbally um, grapefruit pith and skin and that zesty quality coupled with lemon and orange underneath. Um, but you have to kind of cut through that, that um, malty mouthfeel. Uh, and then you're left with that awesome, West Coast bitterness, floral dryness on the back end. Just a fantastic beer of the old school. Um, killer stuff, man. But again, I, I, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more grapefruit, but I'm hugging more the orange end of the spectrum. Very good beer though, nostalgic. Um, man, shorts beer, man. Shorts, shorts of the old school, it's, it feels awesome. And because of the bitterness, it almost drinks like a bigger beer a little bit. I mean, it's smooth through the middle and the happiness. It wears you down a little bit on the back end of the palate, but you do come around to it and your palate adjusts and it does end up being quite a nice drinker. But I would say, you know, this is like seven, seven and a half percent just based on the hoppy bitterness on the back end, but um, great beer. And I can only say that so many times. So as for a rating, I'm gonna sit here guys and give it to you straight. I'm gonna say this is an awesome four out of five. It's just nostalgic back in the day you'd probably give this closer to a five if it's 2010 you'd be mind boggled by this beer but um unfortunately we adapt we adjust we change we get better it's competition it's the adjustment of time it's the adjustment of newcomers coming into the game and uh we have stiff competition and today in 2023 it's a four out of five it was the hop stash from shorts brewing company thanks for being here guys it's nostalgic cheers